My name's Drew Quinn from Portlug. Um, got, got to represent Portlug. So this is my version of the Apocalypse Overlander. Uh, the idea was that you can survive the apocalypse and still be very comfortable. Um, so th that's kind of the focus is like looking at at one person kind of glamping their way across the wasteland is, is kind of how I tried to do this, but you know, with some real power behind it. So I started with the tractor trailer up front. Um, I got those tires at, at Bricks Cascade last year as my bulk, uh, my door prize. And so that was kind of the kickoff for this whole thing. Those and are I, great tires. You know what those are from? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Someone like, in the comments can point out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I don't have many big tires myself, but I wanted something that would be really big and imposing, and, and that was like the good jumping-off point for scale. Um, so framed it out like a semi-truck. Uh, did a lot of research on semi-truck frames, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then just started at the front and started working my way back, and it kept going. Um, it, it really kind of got away from me. Uh, but it does have the full, I wish it was a working engine, but um, tried to go for some some detail on there. Uh, just playing around with greebling was a lot of, of what this was. I mean, if, if you look at the kind of the chaos of, of some of these, uh, you know, some of the gray railing and everything, it was just seeing how much detail I could pack in. Um, so trying to kind of incorporate as much uh, try, trying to keep it as contiguous as possible. Um, so yeah, it's a very plush interior. You know, he does have the the picnic basket from the um, from the Mini Cooper set. So you know, you can get up and have a picnic there. You don't have to be complete barbarians out exactly, here. Exactly, exactly. You know, you bring a, a modicum of civilization to it. Um, One detail I love here is these. These are like the old like Rock Raider screens, yes. right? Yeah, they, they worked really well for fenders, and uh, finding the fourth one was was a pain. But we finally tracked one down, um, just in time for the show, actually. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to do power functions on the back, but I've never really messed with motors before, and it was getting real heavy. So it it is stationary as of now, but I'm hoping to make some changes to that next year. We'll see. Experiment with that at future builds. Yeah, we'll let's see if that gets away from me. Um, so it is a, a gooseneck trailer. This does hook into the uh, the receiver here, and so it does, in theory, pull it. The little uh, stand comes up, um, but there's a little walkway along here. Kind of, I'll, I'll give you the walking tour. You got the little uh, loading gate for the crane, which uh, can service the the top deck and the workshop, as well as pull stuff up up off the ground. Um, you kind of hang out in the, the little the skybox lounge area. Again, try to kind of keep the upholstery going. Um, there's a, a little ladder going down through the back, uh, through the trunk of the Mini Cooper, down into the kitchen and the den, where there's a map of map on the walls and, and a nice little office space. Um, solar hot water heater up here. Uh, I, I wanted to play a little bit more with the suspension bridge, but again, you know, we had the convention coming and this piece was kind of lobbed in at the back. Uh, but that walkway takes you over to the vat of heads because it is the apocalypse and there's, you know, it's just kind of how that is, unfortunately. But back down here, you got the uh, the workshop uh, workbench with the, the toolbox, uh, a keg of adult beverages. Uh, and on the back side, I actually have a little laundry facility uh, with a little, uh, the little tumbler actually turns. So, you know, you can keep your clothes clean and all that. Uh, we do have a little toilet in there in the front seat, running water. Um, and then, you know, through another minigun in the back. Uh, I, I've heard Boone joke that, you know, the the formula for apocalypse is throw a minigun on it and you're pretty much good to go. So I've, I've really taken that to heart. Lots of miniguns, um, and that's pretty much it. You know, I wanted to kind of keep all of the the elements that really got me into apocalypse last year uh, by incorporating these three vehicles, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to play with. And that's why I love this theme because you can kind of get away with anything and. You know, throw spikes on it. It's fine. You know? All the rules kind of go out the door with this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can get a little weird with it, and uh, it, it's just a fun little, fun, fun little exercise. Uh, so we'll see what see what happens next year. I love what you've done with the caterer here, with like taking taking the whole like bottom of it off and just attaching the giant gun. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the, so this is actually not the the creator model. It's a scaled down version because I tried mounting the the original um, the original model on here. Uh, but it was way too heavy, so it kept falling down. So I had to take it all apart, scale it back down, and, and 
kind of fit more with the, the size of the, the other builds. But, yeah, that screamed mounted minigun to me. So you yeah, had to make that happen. It's fun. This is so creative, and I love all the details you put in there. Thank you so much for bringing it out to the show here. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.